I am sitting here with Claire, who was voted out by a vote of four to one on double eviction night. You were the first person voted out. I want to do a quick recap, because mm -hmm. on the live show, I asked you about this past week, yeah. recapping the fact that Tiffany, your closest ally in the house, your best friend in the house, as HOH, when she was HOH, she said to you, I have to nominate you. And she basically said that she did not want to be responsible for a person of color leaving. And you said through tears, I get it, I respect it. Some people won't get it, I get it. Explain that. I love the show and I know this show and I know that this is an iconic season. This is the most diverse season that there's ever been. And I know that for a lot of people of color, living in the world, there aren't a lot of people that are looking out for them. And Tiffany felt like that she had to look out for the other people of color on this show. And I think a lot of people probably say, well, this is your closest ally, what are you talking about? But I know Tiffany expressed to me that coming on the show, it's something that she told herself that she wouldn't do. She wouldn't force a person of color to go home. And she didn't want to be the first person to take that shot, to do that. And I, it really hurts still that it happened to me, but I think that I can empathize or understand that I can't really empathize with that scenario because I am white and I have my own experience and Tiffany has her own experience existing in the world and they're two very different experiences. And so I can't argue with Tiffany and say, no, what are you talking about? Why would you do that? Um, because that's what she came here and what she said that she would stick to if she came into the house and I couldn't argue with that. And I know that's very vague <laughs> and very roundabout, but it's, it's a complex situation and I have complex feelings about it as well. Do you have anything to say to anyone out there who doesn't get it? I would say to listen to the experiences of a lot of the house guests um, and listen to what Tiffany has to say about why it's important. And I would ask them to have um, grace for Tiffany and grace for this experience and grace for a lot of people of color's experiences moving through the world. Um, and to understand that they might not understand and they might not get it, but to listen still. So. I love that you use the word grace. Mm. I feel like you're a child of God. And that's, I am, thank you, yes. And that's why you use that word. Um, we watched you campaign hard in the last 24 hours. Yes. Why do you think it didn't work? Uh, I think that Kylan is very stubborn and Kylan is confident that he is always right. And so uh, Kylan doesn't want to listen to me and what I have to say and then Aza did reveal to me um, before I left that her, Big D, and X have a final three. And I think that she has felt very alone in the game. And so I think she wanted to stick truer to that um, as well. And I think that these people have deals and these people are schemers and these people are liars. And I, I tried my best, but I think Tiffany put out an opportunity that people wanted to take advantage of and take a shot when they could get it, even if they couldn't get a shot at Tiffany. Obviously, since you're a member of the jury, I yes. cannot say anything. Yes. Um, I do want to ask you, you did know that it was double eviction night. Um, who do you hope is the second person following you into jury? I hope. And why? Yeah, I hope that it's Xavier. I don't think there's any chance it's Xavier, but I think Xavier leaving would put Tiffany and Chada in the best position in this game, and I'm pulling for them. Oh, and I hope Chada won that HOH. Um, but if Alyssa or Xavier walked out, uh, when I will see them eventually, that, that would put a smile on my face. And just to explain, um, you house guests call Chada Chada, yes. and not Hannah, Hannah. because... Uh, Chada is her last name. There you uh, go. Supposedly. 
you came in strong. Opening night, you won that first competition, wow. which made you a team captain, mm -hmm. captain of the Queens. And then it looked like you were laying low, mm -hmm. or you, or was that on yeah. purpose? Yeah, so I came in the game wanting to play strong, wanting to win comps, but knowing that I would potentially have to lay low. And my name was being thrown around the first week and the second week. And I said, oh, no, I'm, these people see I'm six feet tall. These people saw I won the captain's comp. And I had to start throwing comps. I had to start laying low. I started wearing baggy clothes around the house so people wouldn't see my long legs, um, trying to lower my threat level in everyone's eyes, uh, which may or may not have worked. Um, but it was definitely something I was intentionally doing. Looking back, would you have done anything differently? I, I think it's hard. I ha had so many instances where I wanted to flip the vote. I thought about flipping the vote with Christian. I thought about flipping the vote with Brittany. I worked really hard to fl flip the vote with Brittany. Um, but it's, it's tricky when your allies don't want to flip. You can only force them to do so much. Um, I don't really think there's anything I would have done differently. Um, winning more comps maybe would have been good, but it's hard to know. As a huge fan of this show, yes. what is the best thing you're going to take away from this experience? Oh, the best thing I will take away from the experience is, of course, the friends that I made, but also just how much fun it was. Like, this is really me living my dream, and it's been so amazing and so much fun, and I'm way more capable of more things than I realized. Um, and it was a very empowering experience, although it was cut a little bit short, um, but it was such a delight. Do you want to listen to some goodbye messages from some of your now former housemates? Yes, please. Let's watch and listen. Fantastic. Claire, because of a personal decision when I entered this house, you were not able to stay this week. But I do have a lot of love, respect, and admiration for you. God bless you. Claire, I hope you can understand that I am a loyal player and I'm always gonna have exes back and I wouldn't have done what Tiffany did, putting my number one ally on the block and risking you going home. So I hope you can understand it was because I'm trying to be as much of a loyal player as I can be. Claire, this week has been one of the most difficult weeks because I had to balance my own personal reasons with my loyalty I have to you. I love you, and I hope that we will always be girls. Do I see tears in your eyes? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I really said I was never gonna cry coming out of the show. But I just adore Tiffany so much, <laughs> and that's so silly, because she put me on the block and I went home, but she, she is my girl. And I, I do just absolutely adore her. Um, and I know that she had a hard week and I had a hard week too. Um, but I just, I love her so much. Final thoughts? Final thoughts. It's been a wild ride. Um, and it was such a delight. And if anyone is thinking about applying, just do it. Um, it's worth it. It's worth it, it's worth it, it's worth it. And I would do it again in a heartbeat keep being a child of God. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Claire. <sighs>